This video is sponsored by PTCGLstore.com, a great place for you to buy Pokemon TCG code cards. Hey guys, in today's video, we'll be showcasing a very fun mill deck featuring Area Zero Under Depths with Whiskash, and we're basically going to use its Raging and Rocking Attack, which discards the top cards of your opponent's deck times the number of fighting energies attached to this Pokemon. And we will be utilizing the Reversal Energies to power up that attack, and reversal energy does require that you are behind on prizes for it to activate. So you do have to lure your opponent to knock out at least one of your Pokemon. And once you do that, each of your reversal energy attached on Wishcash will count as three fighting energies each. And to energize our Wishcash constantly, we'll be utilizing Regigigas to power up the attack thanks to its Ancient Wisdom ability. As long as you have the five other Regis in play, you can use this ability. Once during your turn, you may attach up to three energies of any kind from your discard pile to one of your Pokemon. So when you attach those reversal energies onto Wishcash, you can discard anywhere from three to 12 cards from your opponent's deck. And of course, with additional energies, you can discard even more. To make this work though, it is essential that we use the Area Zero Underdepth Stadium card. This will expand your bench space to accommodate for up to 8 Pokemon. That way, we'll have room for all 6 Regis and at least 1 Whiskash line. For the Stadium to take effect though, you do need another space for a Terra Pokemon in play. And this is why we also have Cornerstone Ogre Pond EX. This will help activate Area Zero Stadium, and this is actually a great Pokemon to have in this deck as well, since it can wall off attack damage from any Pokemon with abilities on them, and it has an unblockable attack. I added a copy of Raiding Greninja in this build as well since it can help discard our reversal energies while allowing us to draw two cards with its concealed cards ability. Discarding the energies helps to set up for Regigigas so that we can accelerate them from the discard pile. As for the other cards worth noting, I have one copy of Zara 6 Machinations. This will force your opponent to discard cards from their hand until they only have three remaining. This will make it more difficult for them to have the cards they need to counter our strategy. You're basically hoping that they don't have any boss's orders or any recovery cards in their hand. And I also have Chorus's Tenacity. This will allow you to search for those reversal energies as well as the Area Zero Stadiums. And Lana's Aid is such a great recovery card. It allows you to put up to three in any combination of basic energies or non rule box Pokemon from your discard pile back into your hand. This is great especially if you're forced to discard Pokemon from your bench when your stadium is removed. You can just recover your Pokemon and re-establish your board state after recovering your Pokemon. And speaking of recovery, Night Stretcher is also a great help. This allows you to recover one of either a basic energy or a Pokemon from your discard pile back into your hand. And finally, for my Ace Pack card, I'm using Legacy Energy. This counts as one energy of every type. And once per game, if your opponent knocks out your Pokemon with this equipped by an attack damage, your opponent takes one less prize. This will help power up Whiskash, and this may just be able to buy you another turn when you can deny your opponent that final prize they need to win. Also, I think being familiar with all the other Regis will definitely make it easier for you to pilot this build. Just remember that you can use Regidrago to draw extra cards with its Dragon's Horde ability. And all the other Regis can help you set up other Regis on your bench. And Regieleki has an attack that can help you recover any one of your trainer cards. And as for other cards you could possibly add in this, I was actually thinking of adding Gravity Gemstone in this build to make it more difficult for your opponent's active Pokemon to retreat while you mill them. And also maybe a 1-1 line of Dust Clubs, that way you don't have to wait for your opponent to knock out one of your Pokemon just so you can activate your reversal energies. And I guess it's worth noting that it's not uncommon to break once in a while with this build because of the scarcity of Pokemon draw support. But besides that, all in all, I think this build is still actually a really great mill deck. Anyways, that's pretty much it. You can find the complete deck list in the description. And now please enjoy the following gameplay videos showcasing the upgraded Whiskash mill. Before we get into the video, I have a small request. If you're liking the content I create, please leave a like to this video. And please support this channel by subscribing if you haven't already. This is a small click for you, but for me, it means a lot. Thank you so much for all of your support. Alright, on to our first match. We have Regidrago and Registeel. Regidrago will definitely go into the active because we can use its ability to draw extra cards if we need to. And my opponent will mulligan. They have a bunch of grass energies. And this is nice that we are going to start with the Carmine because you can use that on your very first turn. Even on your very first turn, you can discard your entire hand, draw five. And from my opponent's mulligan, we get an Ultra Ball, which is really nice. So they're going to start with an Applin. This could be a Hydrapple matchup. 
Since we're going to be discarding our entire hand anyways, might as well make good use of everything. So I'm just going to use Ultra Ball to set up another Pokemon here. I'm going to go for Radiant Greninja. You can use its Concealed Cards ability. Discard a card, draw two. And I think I'll discard this one. I can use Super Rod to recover it. And we got an Ogre Pond. All right, cool. So I'll just recover these two for now so that my Super Rod doesn't go to waste. And I'm going to use Carmine. All right, we got a Barboach. We got a Regid Rock. And we got a Nest Ball. Um, let me use Nest Ball for now. Because uh, since Regi Rock is already in our hand, I might as well just get another Pokemon to set up here. Another Regi. Because we need all six of them, basically. And then we can use Dragon Sword to draw one extra card. We got a Nest Ball. All right, cool. So our setup is looking pretty great. We got Core Resist Tenacity to get Area Zero and another Energy. And we can use Radiant Green Ninja to discard it. So... Um, we need six. We got Reggie Rock. We need Reggie Gigas, and we also need Reggie Ilaki to complete the six Reggies, accelerate those energies, and we can evolve next turn into Whiskash. So by emptying our hand, we can also use Dragon's Horde to draw extra cards, hopefully to help us set up. But as it is, I actually need to. Retreat my Reggie Gigas because it has three retreat costs. Most of our Reggies have three retreat costs, which makes it a little bit difficult to retreat and attack at the same turn. But uh, we'll see what my opponent does here. I don't think they can knock out any of our Pokemon, but we have to wait for that as well because uh, we need to activate our Reversal Energy. We need our opponent to be ahead in the price uh, trade. So they have. Teal Mask, Ogre Pond, EX to accelerate energies. And I'm 100% sure this is a Hydrapple build. Because uh, if this is um, the other one that uses that festival, they would have a bunch of monkeys. But since they don't, this has got to be a Hydrapple. So with Forest Seal Stone, they're going to attach to Rotom V. They can find any one card from their deck. Let's see what they're going to get. But uh, yeah, we're not too worried about it. Because uh, even if they evolve into Hydrapple, they can knock out any of our Pokemon. And basically, we just want to mill them. The more cards they get from their deck, the easier it is for us to completely deck them out and they have legacy energy as well and they're just gonna end their turn by using instant charge ability to draw three all right so let's go ahead and evolve into whiskash we can use chorus's tenacity to get area zero under depth and i think i'm gonna go for legacy energy so now with Area Zero and Ogre Pond available to us, that expands our bench. But that also expands my opponent's bench because they have Teal Mask, Ogre Pond as their Terra Pokemon. So with our Nest Ball, we can get Reggie Gigas and Reggie Rock. We only need Reggie Ilaki to complete our board here. And we got Nest Ball. Perfect. So with this Nest Ball, I'm going to grab Reggie Ilaki. And then, I mean, I could use concealed cards. We got switch card. Hey, I can start to mill my opponent. But the thing is, they haven't taken any prize yet. And reversal energy is not taking into effect. I mean, I could use legacy energy, I guess. Discard one card from the top of their deck. But I think I'm going to go with Reggie Ilaki. I can use my first attack to recover a trainer card from the discard pile. So we're going to go with Electromagnetic Sonar and get Chloris' Tenacity. Basically, what I'm going to try and do is just keep getting Reversal Energies. And whether or not my opponent likes it, they're going to have to knock out one of our Pokemon. Their deck relies on... 
getting all six prizes, that means they have to knock out our Pokemon. But for us, we have a different strategy. Uh, now, Reggie, uh, this Reggie build can be, be a very aggressive type of build where uh, we can utilize all of their attacks and hit for weakness, actually. But since we don't have the energies required to fulfill the energy requirements for their attacks, this build is built just to mill people's decks basically so um i would really like to try the reggie build on its own but this mill deck i think is a lot more fun so my opponent evolves into a diplin using boss orders they target reggie rock knocking it out for just a single energy because that attack depends on how many pokemon they have on their bench so uh, I'm gonna go with Reggie Ilaki. I mean, we can recover our Pokemon with Lana's aid anyway, so I'm not too worried about it. And we're just gonna take it slow. So we're behind on prizes now, and yeah, we're gonna go for reversal energy here. We can use concealed cards. Okay, we got an Ogre Pond. And. I'm gonna use Ultra Ball to discard Ogre Pond and Reggie Drago. Get myself Reggie Rock. And then can use Poke Gear. We got Poke, uh, Professor's Research, which is really nice. Can start to energize my Whiskash, I guess. But I only have two energies in my discard pile. Again, the, the retreat cost for these Pokemon is a little bit awkward too. But uh, the deck space is a little bit tight as it is. You know, for consistency. So I'm going to just sacrifice my Reggie Ilaki. Recover another Chorus's Tenacity. That way we can get more reversal energies from our deck. I just hope my opponent... Does that have another boss orders? I don't want them to boss my Whiskash, basically. But once they knock out my Reggie Ilaki, we can use Lana's aid. And... Yeah, we can just recover as much as we can. Alright, for the meantime, they're using their Ogre Pond. The ability Teal Dance accelerates one energy from their hand onto their Ogre Pond, then draw one extra card. They cannot use their Fezendipity EX yet because that requires that we knock out one of their Pokemon and then they can draw three cards. They have Mew EX with the amount of cards they have in their hand. They're going to use Super Rod. They can draw three with Mew EX's restart ability. All right, very nice, very nice. But the more cards they draw, the more dangerous it becomes for them. So they have to think twice about this. I just hope they don't have a stadium card to discard our area zero. So they're just gonna end their turn with instant charge. All right, so with that, I think I'm going to go with Chorus's Tenacity. And we're going to go with Area Zero, Under Depths, and Reversal Energy. So until my opponent knocks out my Reggie Alaki, I'm just going to go with this, <laughs> basically. Because I can't really uh, accelerate any more energies to Reggie Alaki to retreat it. So I'm just going to stall a little bit, like Electromagnetic Sonar. And... I'm gonna go with Chloris' Tenacity again. I guess I could have grabbed the Switch card, but if I do that, this uh, Reversal Energy will stick to Reggie Alaki. So I really want my opponent to knock it out. So that energy will go into the discard pile. And we have Night Stretcher, we can easily recover it so we don't have to use Lana's aid. We can use our other support card in the process. So for the meantime, my opponent is just, they're gonna continue to set up their 
bench. Filling it with 8 Pokemon. And this Diplin is doing a lot of damage. For just a single Grass Energy, which is pretty insane. And this is <laughs> that's actually a really great uh, strategy. Just use Diplin. And for a single Grass Energy, do a lot of damage. How much damage are they dealing around right now? I wonder. So with Area 0 under Depths, Diplin can actually be a very strong attacker. So Do The Way deals 160 damage with a full bench. Alright, interesting. 160 damage, huh? So now it's our turn. Whiskash will go into the active. We do have to recover our Regieleki, of course, so that we can uh, use Regigigas to accelerate energies. So let's go ahead and use Night Stretcher. Recover that, and then we can use Chlorosis Tenacity to get Reversal Energy and Area Zero Under Depths. And yeah, let's go ahead and use Concealed Cards to draw two. And we're going to use Ancient Wisdom. Here we go, guys. Three Reversal Energies. We have four Reversal Energies plus Legacy Energy. Raging and Rocking will discard... 13 cards from their deck. <laughs> and that leaves them with just three cards left in their deck. Can my, op can my opponent recover at all? I mean, they can knock out my Whiskash, but in a matter of turns, they will deck out. And what I could do is just set up another Whiskash to finish them off. And I even have boss orders to just stall. Uh, I can actually grab their Hydrapple into the active spot. And since Hydrapple has a ton of retreat cost. And with not enough energies available to them, especially if they cannot recover, they're just going to get stuck into the active and we will win this game. So Whiskash is uh, it's a ticking time bomb basically. I think the strategy to go against Whiskash is to just target Barboach as soon as possible. So our Legacy Energy takes into effect. My opponent does not get any prizes for knocking it out. And our Ogre Pond is actually invincible to any of their attackers. Since all of their attackers have abilities, they cannot even touch or damage our Ogre Pond in the active spot. And all we have to do is evolve our Barboach and we should be fine. We got Xerosix Machinations even to make them discard their hand here. So with that, I don't have Whiskash evolved just yet. So I'm just gonna stall, get their Hydrapple EX into the active and I could accelerate an energy to Ogre Pond. I'm just gonna set it up so I can retreat it and end my turn. So if I use Lana's aid, I can recover Whiskash, retreat my Ogre Pond, and then just mill their, the last two cards from their deck. Or they could do it for me with Professor's Research, and that's going to be game. There it is. My opponent concedes. Good game, man. <laughs> All right. Awesome. All right. On to our next match. We got two Registeels. And again, it's nice that we got Carmine. We can use that on our very first turn going first. We got Legacy Energy. And my opponent will start with a Monkey Dory in the active spot. All right, we got Reggie Gigas for our very first draw. Um, I might as well play Area Zero Under Depths and Legacy Energy since we're going to discard our entire hand, anyways. Use Carmine, discard the entire hand, draw five. We got Regice and Radiant Ninja. And that's pretty much all we could do, so I'm just gonna end my turn. And we need to expand our bench. So we need Ogre Pond, but we can use Reggie Steel's attack to basically summon more Reggies onto our bench. But thankfully, we do have Carmine again in our hand so that we can use that to draw extra cards. So let's see what we're going up against. My opponent has Mimikyu and what's that? It looks like this is a, what is that? 
Pokemon called uh, Espathra. There it is. So they're gonna use TM Evolution to evolve into Espathra EX using Mimikyu and to a Zatu. Okay, so Zatu has that ability to accelerate a Psychic Energy to one of their bench Pokemon and then draw two cards. So I'm gonna use Super Rod because I'm gonna use Carmine here. And all right, we got Nest Ball. We can get our Ogre Pond to expand our bench. And we have another Nest Ball to get Barboach. We definitely need to set that up. And then I can use Concealed Cards, discard this basic Fighting Energy, draw two. And then since I can't really do anything, I'm just gonna use Reggie Gate and then set up Reggie Drago. So I'm basically just filling the bench with the Reggies that I need. So we need all six of them. We already have four. We need Reggie, Eleki, and Reggie Rock. All right. So you just got to familiarize yourselves with all of these Reggies because there are six of them. And basically the board state with Area Zero, you can only, you can only have three other Pokemon on your board but everything else gets taken up by all of the Regis. For the meantime, I'm just gonna use Chloris' Tenacity so I can build up those Reversal Energies in my discard pile. So we'll grab that, Concealed Cards, draw two, and I can even attach this to Registeel. Because once they knock it out, we can get those uh, Special Energies to the discard pile. So I'll just get no, I'm gonna get Reggie Alecki because there are two Reggie Rocks. The probability is a lot higher if you have two rather than just one in the deck. So this is where we're at. Um, Mimikyu is attacking constantly, putting seven damage counters to our Pokemon. And Espathra EX has an ability that increases the attack cost for our Pokemon by one colorless energy more. So it's a lot harder to attack, but with all the energies available, we won't have to worry about that with Whiskash, as long as we can accelerate those reversal energies. But on my next turn, it's gonna be a little bit difficult because uh, I might have to use Professor's Research, but that also means I'll have to discard my Area Zero Under Depths in my hand. So. Uh, it's I'm taking a little bit of a gamble by doing that because I really have no way to recover my uh, my stadium cards. I mean I can use Reggie Alaki I guess, but still that's gonna take another turn. So we got Regis for our first draw. Thankfully my Reggie still survives. I can actually use my switch card to heal it just a little bit. And then, yeah, I'm just gonna use Professor's Research. All right, we got Reggie Rock. All right, Reggie Rock. Rock on Reggie Rock. And we got our Whiskash, so we can evolve that. I can use Palpad, get Zerosic's Machination and Lana's Aid to help us recover. And let's see what we could do with Ancient Wisdom here. We got two energies, okay. Most likely, my opponent will just retreat and attack with their Espathra EX. So I'm not too worried about that. We have Night Stretcher to recover whatever Pokemon they target. And... Go from there. So as the turns... Comes and goes, the more cards my opponent uses up and the easier for us to deck them out. We're gonna use Painful Spoons to transfer damage from Steel to Gigas. And they're gonna take a knockout against Regidrago. All right, finally. Um, let's see what we could do here, actually. Um, let me put my Registeel in the active and then
mean, yeah, there's really no other way here. I can just use Night Stretcher to get basic energy. That way I can, well, I can use Raiding Greninja. I have Night Stretcher. Let me just use Concealed Cards to draw two first. Hey, we got Xerosix Machination. All right. We have Hisuian Heavy Ball. Okay, very nice. Uh, I think I'm gonna grab Regidrago because that's what we have in the discard pile anyways. And then I could use Night Stretcher to get this back. Accelerate to the active. We can retreat to Whiskash. And then we can discard a lot of their cards. <laughs> so let's go ahead and put our Regidrago. Now we can use Ancient Wisdom. And I'm going to use Xerosix Machination. Or actually... I could use boss orders instead. Get this Radiant Alakazam to the active. Maybe they cannot retreat it. And then we're going to use Ancient Miss Wisdom to accelerate. Uh, yeah, let's... No, we're going to put that. I don't want to waste Legacy Energy just yet. And we're going to use Raging and Rocking. We're discarding seven cards from the top of their deck. All right, so, so far... This is what we've discarded. And yeah, let's see how this goes. The only thing is, see, the only thing is the the, the bench space is pretty scarce. You you have these two, Raiding Greninja and Ogre Pond, because you need Ogre Pond. You have Whiskash, and you have all six Reggies. You can only really fit three non-Reggies in in your board so having another backup barboach can be a little bit difficult but you can sacrifice your rating greninja if you can and I actually was thinking of putting um thornton in this build but I, I i went without it so for now i'm just gonna disrupt my opponent's hand with xerosix machination put it down to three and then my ogre pond should survive here I'm just gonna use Ancient Wisdom, prep it for next turn, and then we can retreat it. I mean, it could attack with it, I guess, but I, I really don't want to. Because once you start attacking and knock out their Pokemon, you're gonna be ahead in prize, and then reversal energies won't work. So, yeah, this build is just built for milling. Just keep that in mind. So now that we have our energy on Ogre Pond, we can retreat it. And then we can evolve into Whiskash. And then just keep milling my opponent's deck. But they use Jamming Tower, kicking out our Area Zero Stadium. Now we have to discard our Pokemon so that we have five left. Uh, let's see what we got here. We got Regidrago, Regice. I guess maintaining the other Reggies in our board is useful. At least our Radiant Greninja will be discarded. And I'm just going to go with those three. So we can actually have a backup Barboach now. That uh, Radiant Greninja is not in the board now. We can have six Reggies, one Ogre Pond, and then two Whiskash Lines. Thankfully our... Cornerstone Ogre Pond is uh, immune to damage. And Super Rod. Do we not have any other recovery? Oh man, this is not good. Can we not recover our Regis anymore? Because if we don't, we cannot accelerate those energies. Oh no, we have Lana's Aid. I think we recovered Lana's Aid, if I'm not mistaken. All right, they're going to put their Mimikyu in the active. Uh, we can actually knock this out, but we, since we don't have all Regis, um, we can't really accelerate energies. And uh, since they're using damage counters, they actually uh, 
can damage our ogre pond. So let's uh, take out their jamming tower with area zero and let's build up our Reggies once again. So by using up all our cards, we can draw four with Dragon's Horde ability and we got Ultra Ball. We got an Ultra Ball. I can get Regice. Go ahead and discard these two. Oh no, we have to recover it. Let's see. Okay, we got Lana's aid. We got Lana's aid. Mm hmm. I might as well just grab a Barboach. This is gonna be our secondary attacker in case they have a boss orders. They target my Whiskash. But I'm gonna go with that. So with Lana's aid, we can recover three. We just have to draw into it. Um, see what we could do here. We have to get Reggie Drago out of the active spot first. But most likely, we're just going to have to wait for them to knock it out. All right, we got another Whiskash. Put this energy just so we can lessen our hand draw. All right, we got Pokey Gear 3.0. Perfect. So we got Lana's Aid. We can recover our cards or our Pokemon now. Let's go ahead and do that. So we need Regice for sure. Let's see. We already have Regigigas. We need Regice. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we, we need Ridge Ice. And then... Basic Energy? I don't know. I feel like I need to recover my Reggies, but I'm gonna go with these three. Because my opponent's just gonna knock out my active anyways. I'm hoping they don't have any boss orders. Because once they knock it out, we'll be ready for them. We can set up our... Reggies, accelerate those energies, and then we can start milling their deck. So they have two boss orders in the discard pile. How many boss orders do they have in this deck? That's the question. They cannot use a uh, counter catcher because they're ahead in prize. And they're gonna use Tulip to recover some psychic energies or Pokemon. They have nine cards in their hand. But we're milling their deck anyways. As long as they don't have any other recovery cards that goes back into the deck, we should be fine. So they evolve into a regular Espathra. I think this is the one that's immune to damage after they evolve. Okay, they use Zatu to accelerate an energy, draw two. And they have Super Rod, okay. So Super Rod recovers three cards back into their deck. And yeah, just, just keep in mind though, there's really no way you can run out of cards because you do have Reggie Lucky to use its uh, attack to recover trainer cards from your discard pile back into your hand. So you can use that, get Lana's 8 or something or Super Ride so you can recover your, um, your Pokemon or even energies. So they're, they're focusing on Knocking out my Ogre Pawn. But if we can mill the cards that they need, if we can just avoid them from bossing our Ogre Pawn, we should be fine. So now it's our turn. They knock out our Pokemon. We have Whiskash now available to us and all of the Regis are available. So we can put our Reggie Drago, our Regice, and we even have room for another Whiskash line. So. Uh, with that, yeah, let's put Barboach into play for our backup attacker. Ancient Mystem is now in play, and we only have two Reversal Energies, unfortunately. But that's fine. We can attach another basic Fighting Energy. So we're gonna use Raging and Rocking, and we're, <laughs> we're discarding eight cards from their deck. That's insane. 
All right, cool. So with that, uh, they have to target either our Ogre Pond to disrupt our our bench. I mean, if they take out our stadium, but I'm hoping we discarded whatever it is that they could use against it. So that's basically the strategy, guys. If you can just discard a bunch of cards and any cards that they need to get a uh, or to disrupt our strategy. As long as you can eliminate those, this uh, this deck is actually smooth sailing. So they're gonna go for an attack here, knocking out our Whiskash, but Legacy Energy takes into effect, and they do not take any prizes for that, and guess what? We have our backup, our Boach. We can evolve into Whiskash, and Reversal Energy from our draw, that's insane! So, let's go ahead and use Ancient Wisdom, and finish them off by accelerating these energies. Attach reversal energy, and guess what guys, that's it. We deck them out for game. And there you have it. <laughs> this deck is awesome guys, good game. And that's it for the video. Thank you all so much for watching the Popsicle Night channel, and until next time, please stay safe and have a great day.